We had a testimony today from one of the survivors of the church shooting in Charleston, South Carolina, that left nine members of a Bible study group dead. Steve Gershola joins us now tonight, and the jury could get the case by the end of the week. Yeah, and they may not need very long to decide this case. Uh, this was a very dramatic day. That decision, especially after this video, it was shown in court today, Dylan Roof practicing shooting. And then this afternoon, a woman who survived the shooting testified. She was the final witness. Then prosecutors rested their case against the accused shooter. The federal jury hearing the case against confessed Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof will soon begin deliberating his guilt or innocence. The government rested its case Wednesday morning. Minutes later, as expected, so did the defense. That followed dramatic testimony from the government's final witness, shooting survivor Polly Shepard. She was the woman who Roof deliberately allowed to live, which she spoke about earlier this year with Charleston affiliate WCBD. Sometimes I feel guilty. All of these people are gone and I'm still here. But I know God has me here for a reason. During tearful testimony Wednesday, Shepard refused to refer to Roof by name. The 911 call that Shepard made moments after the shooting began was played. A forensic pathologist also testified on Wednesday that a total of 59 shots hit the nine victims. We all know I'm guilty. Roof confessed to FBI investigators to the June 2015 shooting, so the defense put up no witnesses. The jury returns Thursday morning for closing arguments and possibly to start deliberating as early as Thursday afternoon. It was no surprise to anyone that the defense did not put up any witnesses in the trial. They will instead focus on the penalty phase because Roof could be sentenced to death if found guilty. Devin, Karen, back to you.